Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it is going to be a new Express a clothing haul and try on video. So I do get to partner with Express for these videos, which always has me really excited. They are a store I've been shopping at for more years than I would like to admit right now. But I do really enjoy their quality of clothes and I have kind of a mix today to show you between um, jeans and tops, some a little bit more casual, some a little bit more fancy. We have some Valentine's Day thrown in here as well. Uh, but thank you so much to Express It for working with me on this video. And if you would like to see the latest pieces that I've picked up from them, let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with some jeans. I've been really wanting to get a new pair of jeans because you guys know when the ripped denim phase really started coming back in and like coming back with a vengeance. I was getting so much distressed denim that I kind of forgot like maybe there will be times where I don't want jeans that are really distressed or maybe because I live in the Midwest when it gets to be really cold I want jeans that actually cover my full legs and I only this is really embarrassing because I donated a bunch of my clothes when we moved last year. Uh, I only kept one pair of jeans that aren't completely ripped. So I've been wanting to get a new pair of jeans and I really liked these. These are in the uh, Denim Perfect line, which I feel like they fit so well on me. Uh, these are the ankle legging high rise with the stretch plus and I got two R, um, so two regular. I really like Express for pants, whether it be jeans or even trousers because they have so many different options, especially lengthwise, because sometimes you need something that's longer, sometimes you need shorter or petite. Sometimes you need regular. I am 5'5", five five, um, so the two works really well for me, and these ones do have a bit of stretch to them. And then they come down into a skinny leg at the bottom. I'll be doing some try-on clips also. And my other pair of jeans that aren't completely destroyed are a really dark pair of denim, so I wanted something just a little bit lighter just to mix it up, but I didn't want to go like the full like acid wash jeans, which I know those are back in style and I saw some at Express too. So if you're interested in them, you know, Express is always with the trends and what's happening right now. They're definitely there. I just couldn't do it yet, but I really liked the color of these. And again, just, just a nice pair of high-waisted skinny jeans. They look really good, especially on the booty, which that's a part of their denim perfect line. And so I think my... A uh, pair of jeans that I just keep wearing over and over again and have to constantly keep washing because they're the only ones that I wear I think those pair of jeans are going to be really happy to see this one added to my closet So animal print is definitely very in right now I've had a lot of like leopard in the last few of my express try on hauls, but we have some snake skin for you today. So I saw this top it was actually on a mannequin um because I shopped in store at express and I was like Ooh, I like that. The shirt is actually a little bit of a crop. You'll probably be able to see it a little bit better in the try on clips also. Uh, but it's nice. It's almost kind of like a little bit more flowy material and it's also very soft. Like I am probably not looking at snake skin. You would think that this is going to be soft, but um, I swear that it's actually really soft material. A little bit more flowy, like I said. I like it, especially because it is a little bit more on the crop side that it's not too tight. Uh, like on the stomach area or like down towards the waistline. It's also not too flowy because you also don't want to get into that category. Uh, and I liked the neckline on it. It does come up pretty high. And then the uh, long sleeves, whoop, and then the uh, long sleeves on it too. So I don't have anything snakeskin in my closet at the moment but again like I said I know that animal print is really big right now and I definitely saw a lot of snake skin um, clothes I mean pants even I think I saw a matching set with the snake skin so I felt like I wanted to add something there was a little Valentine's Day section as well with the mannequins looking all beautiful and they're red and their dresses and I saw this top I actually saw it online first and I was kind of looking for it in the store because it just really caught my attention so it is just this beautiful red and black polka dot at top the sleeves are really cool because they're kind of they're not necessarily they're not bell sleeves but they kind of balloon out a little bit here but then they have this detail at the wrist so it's not the full sleeve that really kind of balloons out because it cinches in at the wrist again you'll see in the in the try on clips and uh it does cut kind of low in the front but it, 
when I was wearing it, when I tried it on in-store, when I've had it on at home, it doesn't seem to be too low, but you could definitely wear like a black uh, cami underneath uh, if you wanted to, or even like a black bralette, I think would be cute. This one does cinch in uh, towards the towards the bottom of the shirt, a little bit more towards the waistline. It does have a tie on it, which you can use to make the shirt tighter or looser. And then you have the ruffle detail at the bottom. I wasn't sure, like I said, I saw it online and I was like, I really did like it, but I kind of wanted to try it on. So I was glad that I found it in store because I wasn't sure if like where it hit and then with the ruffles, like would it look cute or would it be like not so cute? Sometimes you just don't know. And I actually really liked how it looked on. Uh, I have it on with the jeans and the try on clips, but even with like black leggings, black pants, something like that, I think it would be really cute. Like the material on it, once again, just nice and lightweight. And I actually ended up really liking the combination between the sleeves and the ruffles. I was a big fan of it. I have another top. This one is the utility tie. So I really like this color. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of this green, especially when it comes to clothing. And then you do have the tie detail here and you have really big buttons. I really like that the buttons are so easy because I just leave the tie detail. I've worn the shirt a couple times out actually. I just leave the tie detail how it is and I take it on and off by the buttons. I do have a little bit of longer nails. These are my, and these are my real nails, so I don't want to break them because that would hurt. Uh, but I like that the buttons are really easy to button and also unbutton because sometimes Sometimes when the buttons are really small, whoo, I can struggle a little bit. But uh, I just like this. It's a, just a nice casual top. Again, you can unbutton it and you can untie it and you could wear it, um, you know, just kind of over a cami or another shirt like that. But I've been wearing it just on its own with the tie detail there. I love this color. And it's just one of those, like, classic casual shirts for your closet. So next up, I... I was really in a mood. I was really feeling some kind of way on this next style of shirt because I bought them in three different, like it's the same style of shirt, just in three different patterns and, and colors and all of that. But I love this tank style with, um, you know, kind of like this mock neck here. I'm such a fan. Again, I bought three shirts like this, but I feel like you can wear these on their own. You can wear them with cardigans, with blazers. You can layer them. I just think that a leather jacket, I just feel like there's so much that you can do with these in addition to being able to wear them on their own. So I just thought they were such a good piece. Again, another another one of those staple pieces for the closet. That's what I look for a lot. That's kind of, That tends to be a lot of my style is pieces that I can just continually wear. I can mix and match. And I loved this gray print on here. This one I thought would pair really well with a blazer, um, black pants, a black blazer, something like that. I mean, you can go more casual and wear it with jeans. Uh, so you got the mock neck here. This one does have a zip in the back and it does also have the um, like the little clasp here too. So in the try on clips, if it looks a little bit big around my neck, it's because I am filming by myself. And unfortunately, my dog is not able to help me with zippers. I know, it's so annoying. It's like, get it together, girl. Help me out. Uh, so that's why. But once you... Like once you actually zip it up, because I've worn this one out also, once you do that, then it's a, it looks, you know, just a lot more like put together for the neck. But I'm a big fan of that one. And then this next one, I actually took this, I went to Vegas recently and I took this on my trip and I shared a photo wearing it on my Instagram stories. And so many people complimented my shirt, my outfit. They're asking me where I got the top and... I'm a fan of this one. So again, we kind of have like the animal print coming in. This is a little bit um, kind of like Dalmatian vibes here, but the same style, the same tank with kind of this mock neck here. Such a big fan, <laughs> such a big fan. Uh, I, it's funny because I'm not always the biggest fan of my arms. Sometimes I feel like my arms can look a little bit too muscular. I do a lot of yoga, which means I, I'm constantly balancing on my arms. Even when you just do sun salutations, a lot of it is upper body work. A lot of it is arm balances. So sometimes I feel like, especially if I add a lot of weights into my fitness routine, I think that my arms look too muscular and I'm a little bit... I don't I'm a little bit shy about them. I don't really know But for some reason when I wear this style of shirt, even if it looks like I have more muscular arms I'm like, yeah, like go girl like you get it So I try not to be too self-conscious about it and I really like this one also So this one doesn't have like a zipper or a clasp or anything like that and also I do show in the trying clips, but the front is double line too So it's not sheer at all and it's just really comfortable. I just think it's so 
um, so form fitting. I've been doing a terrible job telling you the sizes that I got. Uh, I believe this one, yeah, this is an extra small. I can link my sizes also, or I can list my sizes in the description box. I'll link everything that I'm wearing too. Mostly for tops and express, I do an extra small. Typically, I'm a small in tops, but with express, I generally say to size down. So that is why I do the extra small, and that usually works pretty well for me. Um, so the next one here, I'm like immediately looking for the size. Uh, I believe this one isn't, yeah, this one is an extra small small too so again same same concept here same style shirt this one is just your basic white and I really wanted this because I felt like this could really make for a good one when it comes to layering um, I wear this one with the next two pieces that I have which is our cardigan and a blazer uh, so again I feel like you know a jacket anything like that this is just like a really good piece to have once again it is double lined in the front and especially because it's white I think that's nice because it's not too sheer it's not too see-through we have the same style here and just like with the last one no zipper or clasp on this and again I just really like the way that it looks on very soft this I, I mean this one and the previous one the material Material on this one is super super soft which I appreciate but clearly I'm a fan of that style of shirt and I'm pretty excited about all three so like I said I have a cardigan and a blazer to finish it off with again just really nice layering pieces the cardigan especially for just around the house I was actually wearing this the other day in just a chatty get ready with me video that I was doing I had a I think it was just a white um, t-shirt on and I threw on the cardigan over it to keep me warm so this is pretty long so again you'll be able to see it well in the try on clips but just a really cozy cardigan it's really it's soft but it's also just I mean the word I just want to use is cozy it's also nice and long it does have the ties at the side if you wanted to tie it and it does also have pockets here too like really nice size pockets and it's just it's it's like a substantial cardigan like it's a little bit heavier it's again it's just really warm and cozy and I know that I appreciate having that and then finally I have a blazer I try to sneak in a blazer from time to time because these the blazers from Express I just think are really great quality and once again a blazer is just kind of that classic piece for the closet especially maybe if you do have a little bit more of a traditional job or if you're someone who maybe goes to like business meetings and all of that I mean I don't but sometimes I pretend at home with Aries and we have like a business meeting I still really like the look of blazers I will say I did wear one to uh, it was my black one uh, I wore it to a holiday party with like a red bralette I thought that looked really cool I know kind of the I feel like there was a name for it like the business lingerie or something like that like that trend is I think that trend is still really in but almost kind of like a blazer or a nicer jacket with some sort of like bralette or you know something along those lines I've seen that that was very trendy so that's why I wore it to one of the holiday parties the color of this blazer kind of this magenta pink i think is beautiful and i love it um so the blazer is an extra small and so is the cardigan even with the extra small on the cardigan i felt like i had plenty of room because sometimes with cardigans or outerwear i'll go up to a small or maybe even a medium depending on what it is but again i was in store i was trying everything on and i felt like the extra small was plenty of room and again with the blazer um, and I've tried this on with a few of the tanks that I've purchased as well. And I still feel like I have plenty of room with the extra small. So this is the final piece of this beautiful blazer that I wanted to share with you from Express. After that, that is going to wrap it up for my latest clothing haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all the pieces that I picked up. I would love to know what is one of your favorite items that I got. Please do let me know. If you're interested in any of these, I will have them all linked in my description box. Thank you again to Express for working with me on this video. If you guys did enjoy it, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go, and I will see you in my next video.